Well, she's known as the pet lady, and she travels from coast to coast giving pet advice. Melissa joins her in studio with a very quiet dog. <laughs> I'm like quite possibly the cutest yet loudest guest we've had here. Let's talk about the pets first. <laughs> Who do we have? Where do they come sure, from? This is Savannah. She's a French bulldog. And, you know, today we're talking about how to welcome a rescue pet into your home. And a lot of people want French bulldogs. They're a really popular breed. Right. And you don't have to go to a breeder. You can check out the French Bulldog Rescue Network. Um, that's a great organization to find out if you want to get the breed of your choice. You know, you can also check out SaveArescue.org uh -huh. if you're looking for a Pomeranian or a certain a type idea. of breed. They're all in rescue. There's lots of breed-specific rescues out there. Now, let's say you're going to get a rescue pet. Yeah. So first thing, a lot of people probably forget, he's just helping himself. <laughs> like, I am. This is my happy place. Um, you say you want to grab a carrier. Absolutely. Make sure you got a good carrier. Yeah, so this is an awesome carrier. You know, make sure you get a carrier. Make sure you have a, some essential things for the ride home. I always say bark, buckle up. You don't want to have your dog just flying around in the car. You yeah. know, put them in a carrier. Make sure they're safe. You know, strap them in. And you can just buckle them in just like you would buckle your kids or yourself. And then it's also beneficial. And I didn't realize that they had this. You can even use it in the car. It's like a calming spray. What does exactly, that do to help Exactly, yeah. Them? This is Pet Remedy. It actually has four natural ingredients. So instead of a chemical solution, it ha actually has um, sage and basil and um, uh, some awesome ingredients that naturally help calm them down. So you can just really, you know, you can just kind of spray it on them. See, and she doesn't oh, mind oh. it. It's like, oh. It's all good. You can spray it on yourself. And, you know, that can help calm them down, too, if you're going for a walk. Um, it just makes them feel a little bit more safe. The common this code is awesome. well. awesome. I've never seen this code. You know, uh, they swaddle babies. You yeah. can swaddle pets. Uh -huh. And this helps to, you know, because they stay nice, warm, and tight. It's just like swaddling a baby. They, they feel more comfortable. It's, it's also great for the car ride home if you're a little bit worried, you know, how the car is going to go. Um, it's also great once you get home. You know, you want to limit their world. You want to mm -hmm. maybe not expose them to the entire house right, right away. Maybe put them in one room, you know, get them adjusted to that. Put the calm code on them. It's not a punishment. It's just something to make them feel welcome. Um, and it can also be great down the road if you ever have, you know, other travel updates or maybe some kind of thunderstorms or fireworks. Right. And then um, you had mentioned, too, you know, feeding the pet. Yeah. You, you know, you got to remind you gotta yourself. you got to have a schedule. You know, if you have a family, you got to have a plan in place. You know, make sure everyone knows who's feeding the dog. This is a great reminder um, to check it off. You know, if uh, the kid feeds the dog in the morning and mom feeds in the afternoon, so no one's overfeeding the dog. And then you said within the first three days is when a pet may be scared yeah. and go, go run within out of the house. The so make first sure you three get a days, tag. Exactly. So you definitely want to have an up-to-date ID tag. And I love these Twigo tags because you actually just take a pen and you write on the back of it. So you don't have to wait for an engraving machine. You can just write your phone number and your information on there, pop it on your dog, and it's silent so it won't keep you up at night. Um, this is an awesome little, you know, travel bowl from Sturdy Products. You just crush it up, throw it in your purse, you know. You can always have water from the go, which is especially important for these guys with their, you know, smushed faces. And of course, treats. We're out of time. Okay. Everything will be linked to on our website if you want to check it out. These guys are adorable. Now, the, the owner of one of the pets <laughs> over here, I said, do they sleep with you? The answer is no. Too much. No. Yeah, I would imagine you wouldn't get uh, too much sleep, although he's, a, he's chillaxing. And yeah, you can check out the petlady.net for more info. Like Thank you so much, Dana, for coming in today. And Savannah's wearing her little backpack. Oh, cute. To carry her poop bags. Oh, that's good. I like that. Carries her own poop bags. That's good.